to do the V and the news, pop culture, video games, movies, and shoes. Quincy and Justin with a nerdy forecast. So stay a while and welcome to the Ugly Mugs Podcast. All right. Welcome to the Ugly Mugs Podcast. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Hand gestures don't work over. I'm sitting here literally doing the hand gesture. I was just figuring I'd give it a couple beats from the song ending. <laughs> go go ahead. Go ahead. Welcome to the Ugly Bugs Podcast. I'm your host, Quincy. And your other host, Justin. Are we live on Twitch or are we just doing this? Huh? No, no, we're live. Okay, cool. So this is this um, is this clusterfuck is live. <laughs> <laughs> so for anyone that's confused as to why we're talking the way we are, um I have the Rona. You got and the we ick. can't be in person. Yeah, you've got the ick. Yeah. I'm uh, not happy. No, no. He, he he had a a mildly okay vacation, and came back with the uh, the deterrent. But yeah. we're 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 gonna make it work. We have a lot to talk about today. So, uh, because last week, um, as I said, he was on vacation, and uh, Sox did a good run in. But there was a, a bunch of stuff that that would kind of one of our, our inputs as far as such as oh. Uh, are you drinking anything special over there? I am drinking two of my, uh, towards the end of my uh, dark berries here, um, because I can't taste anything anyways. Oh. Like, I have taste. It's but... just slightly muted. Oh. Um, and so I, uh, it's one of those things of, uh, I just figured this will be, this will make me happy. I'll go with this. So, yeah, just two of the dark berries. I I hmm. Next time I'm over there, uh, um, next time you pick me up to to come and get it, we'll have to pick up one more twelve pack because I don't. I want to I want to have one more of those before they disappear or are they gone? Um, I haven't seen them anywhere in a while. Oh. Nah. Oh well. I uh, hopefully hopefully we'll find one. Um, I picked out my new gear from uh, the, the happiest place on earth. Um, y'all can't see it, but I bought the Halloween short sleeve button up that they did this year. That is a loud, colorful, colorful mess. I'm bundled. Um, I'm bundled up in a Punisher throw blanket because I get to sit in my chair with my comfortable clothing, <laughs> drinking. I'm wearing my new Avengers hat. Oh, oh, I'm excited to see that. Um, uh, it's all black with an all black logo. It's very sleek. It's very modern, stylish. Um, but I'm drinking uh, one of my favorite peace teas that I've had a hard time finding, and that's the Snowberry. And uh, that that one shop, the corner shop that I really enjoy, and now carries everything that I enjoy drinking. Mmm. Delicious. Tastes like a melted snow cone, but super good. Uh, starting off the, the, the week with a little bit of bad news. Well, awkward bad news, but good news following. Um, today's wrestling was yesterday. Q? Uh-oh. Um. Oh. Okay, I thought I lost you. No, I'm here. I, I, I was waiting for you to like, continue. That, like, you, you, today's wrestling was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, today's wrestling was yesterday, and was this on Friday? No, this was yesterday. This was yesterday? Okay, that's what I thought, because I, I didn't hear about it until yesterday. Uh, yesterday, uh, a Adam Page versus John Moxley match kind of knocked Adam Page's block off. He was knocked out cold in the midst of the match. Uh, he has, uh, along with AEW, released a, the statement saying, hey, thank you for the, the, you know, the well wishes, as well as on his own page, says, hey, thanks everyone for being so nice. I'm doing all right, feeling good today. Had a nice panini, <laughs> panini for lunch. Um, and, of course, he'll, you know, thank his, his opponent and, and his, their well wishes, because John Moxley's not a bad guy. A little, a little stiff-armed, but <laughs> not a bad guy. But, you know, hopefully Hangman Page gets well very soon. So Lauren points up and out, um after this happened and and, and uh, you know she wasn't trying to be shitty with it she's trying to be realistic because of the way he's been um he's been very much i don't take advice from i i don't accept help from anyone in the back 
and, and maybe this is your wake-up call to accept help because maybe you need to learn to take Lariat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, early on in his <laughs> Lariat, it was a little rough, but I, it wasn't concussion-worthy. Like, damn. It, it just, Sometimes it's just the way it, it goes because if you go back and look at one of his early New Japan matches, that dude's freaking doing snap dragon suplexes out of off of the freaking railing for Christ's sake. Like he is he is a very interesting individual when it came down to New Japan and crossing over. He he took a lot of very rough bumps and this one is of course no different but at the same time as I said it's just a matter of how it hits. It just seemed like such a simple thing and it just it was instantaneous he was done mm. but as mentioned hangman page doing well hopefully he keeps doing well um i do like his little uh about me section anxious millennial cowboy um yeah, checks out that does check out um one of my favorite wrestlers i i have yet to see a non-stellar match from him except for him versus dan o'brien the first yeah, one. Yeah, that match was terrible. Yeah, that match was terrible. 60 minutes of nonsense. That I'm glad they cut down to, like, 40 for us. Um, eh, yeah. But, do I saw the first Fast and the Furious movie because I have never seen them before. That's wild to me. That is, yeah. You, I, we never came across it. We, I think we were going to do them, but we never did. So, this is one of my brother's favorite franchises. I used to take him to the new movies when they would come out for his mm. birthday. Holy crap, it was like opening up a time capsule. Like, a really meaty time capsule. Uh, people stealing those DVD players nowadays. <laughs> oh, God. And then you look at the, the CRTs that are surrounding those DVD players, I was like, Jesus. And then just the, the mediocre story of Insider has to do all this stuff with uh, street racers to get in the knowledge. Oh, it was him the whole time. But wait, this person legally bought all of them and now they're mad and they're gonna shoot up and they glossed over that death like it's 2001 I can kind of talk about it a little bit there's a death in the in this in the first one that kind of gets glossed over always made me sad it, it's sad but they gloss over it they just rush right over it they go oh no now I gotta go beat them up and then they go beat them up I don't know I'm excited to watch the second one. I'll probably do it on uh, either uh, Friday or Sunday. But, yeah, I'm going to start watching a bunch of the Fast and Furious movies. He My brother who... actually owns the box set for them when they um, they did the one that was like shaped like a wheel. Oh, jeez. A... When you hear your family, welcome to Olive Garden. <laughs> Boop. Now, Sox and I watched this anime. We talked about it. Um, we just caught up, and I kind of want to draw you into it because you 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 like intellectual style media. You like thinking about things. I'm just gonna sure. paint. I'm just gonna paint everything just from this one picture, and I'm not gonna go into heavy spoiler territory. A spy, a telepath, and an assassin want to make a family. Okay. That that's pretty much the entire basis of it. The spy wants to achieve world peace. The telepath wants to just make everyone happy, and the assassin just wants to find love. I guess I don't know. It's it's kind of rough. We're 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 just entering the second season, and it's 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 a bubbly, airy slice of life. But it's very smart because none of them know their true identities. Interesting. Yeah, I, I I fell in love with it around episode three, and then we just iced it in two days. Good show, great show. I w- kind of want you to watch it. And yes, it is in dub. Good voice acting. Where's that? Uh, Crunchyroll. Okay. Crunchyroll, I think Funimation. Okay, I was thinking I don't have Crunchyroll, but if it's on the Funimation app, then yeah, uh, but dupe. 
I have spent 120 hours playing this godforsaken game that was told to me that it would be broken, but it wasn't broken. It, it had a few hiccups. Cyberpunk 2077. I fell in love with this game. To the point where I'm wanting to stream it, like, as the character. Like, do the, the, the advanced roleplay thing. It's it's a bizarre feeling. It's a good game. It's a great immersion. How is streaming this game on Twitch working, considering this game does nudity? So, two things. One, it does have a nudity thing that allows you to get rid of the nudity. Um, and then two, uh, it, there's the, the music one that allows to pull copywritten music. And you get everything that's in Cyberpunk's actual library of music and there's a lot per radio station so you're, you're not running into the same thing twice but it's it's pretty fine pretty fair um everything uh, like the um anything that would involve nudity is covered up by like a onesie like a little tiny onelet you know it, okay. it, it covers it up I mean I wondered about people that, that um stream the witcher Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know? yeah 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 um but it it did well it I, so far so good but I'm probably gonna start over um got a couple of the endings I I'm v- on that I am yeah I am beyond excited for uh the DLC uh, uh Phantom Liberty and whatever projects they pop out of their ass later on like I I. CD Projekt Red, take as long as you need. Uh, oh, but I, I did run it. Actually, hold on. I did run into a. Here, keep keep your eye on there because I'm gonna show you a glitch that I I ran into. That is to say, is it in documents? It is in documents. Uh, oh no. Oh, well, that's not where I wanted that to be, but. I'll take it anyways. Open folder. Drag and drop. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fuck. And then wait. I fell into a black hole. Uh, but... Well, it'll buff right out. Yeah, it'll buff right. I mean, it, it does. Ah, uh, So, of course, uh, we love and en- we enjoy spreading the news about humble bundles. Um, I have a little itch with Overkill, but that's another side for another story because this is for charity, and that's all I'm helping out is the charity. Uh, get sixty-four items. It is one game. You get one game, but sixty-three pieces of DLC for twenty bucks for payday two. You get everything from. I realize there is that many DLCs for this damn game. Yeah, uh, Hotline Miami, um, The Big Bank with the guy who played um, Saul. Oh, that's uh, right. Not Saul. Not, not Saul. Saul. Saul's the lawyer. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Well, that guy. Um, you get the barbecue pack, which has all the flamethrower stuff. The the Golden Green Casino heist, which is one of the better uh, heists. Uh, the Lesso heist. Um, the Akuza stuff, the Goat Simulator one, which should have been free. Characters, Gus. Gus. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, the um, Chivalry one the... with freaking Ron Perlman, the John Wick one, Scarface one. There are so many DLCs here. <laughs> uh, of course, he has a name I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah. Yeah. He's been, doing gonna, a, he's been doing a lot of video game stuff, I've realized. Between Far he's Cry... Awesome. Like his, his career, sadly, took a while to blow up because he's a fucking amazing actor and it took until he started doing things like Breaking Bad for him to get noticed yeah. the way he should have been. Yeah. Um, but uh, he's doing all kinds of shows and movies and video games and just fucking killing it. I sent you his name in the Discord chat. Oh. Ooh. Gian, Giancarlo... Esposito. 
Esposito. Yeah. Esposito. That. That. Um, but yeah, um, this one here helps out the Cancer Fountain and the my favorite, Doctors Without Borders, which, of course, both of which will tie hand in hand to helping get rid of cancer as well as helping those uh, overseas. But we're not just helping out those ones. Kaboot! The Day of the Devs. I forgot that uh, in the middle of November, Day of the Devs pops around, and it pretty much helps support uh, Double Fine and a lot of indies that are surrounding Double it's Fine. In the middle of November? It's October. Well, yeah, but the, the Day of the Devs is in the middle of November. November 5th. Oh, okay. Um, you get your VIP pass through this. Uh, it showcases where the heck to show up. Easy peasy. It's basically a digital uh, VIP pass that allows you to get in, etc. Um, and then, of course, an IM8 bit. Uh, really interesting shop. Go and check it out. You also get a twenty dollar or twenty dollar twenty percent off uh, in stock product over at im8bit.com. Go and check them out. Though that one's a pretty good one. But you also get Gang Beast, etc., etc. Most of the games are done by Double Fine. And it, it, something that I kind of want to make very loud and clear is that they have their own uh, scholarship fund, which is Girls Make Games Scholarship Fund, which is just that. Uh, Helps uh, girls and young women interested in pursuing video games through just every every which way, whether it's from elementary all the way to concurrent, just wanting to get them into making games. And of course, World Central Kitchen get food everywhere. I like charities. I like charities. Oh, also, this comes with Brutal Legend, one of one of my favorite games that kind of takes a, a hard left turn that you don't expect, but it's still a good game. Oh God, yeah, I'm, I'm the board. I'm I'm surprised the board's <laughs> clearing that up. I would be choking on soda. That one isn't even the Rona. Yeah. Uh, so, the Festival of the, uh, of the Lost has started up over in Destiny um, with a game-breaking bug. Uh-oh. Yeah, uh, Sox and I were playing for about four hours yesterday. I was thinking about streaming it and just having a nice, chill stream before we realized all that we were doing was kind of going to waste. Um, we were getting some of the pages that you need to turn into other pages, and we go to our inventory, and they were not in our inventory. Uh, we were doing some of the um, Season of Plunder stuff, and we weren't getting the checkpoints for them. Everything is fixed now, but it was a day late for us. So if we were to hop in later on today, then we would be a little bit more open to getting all this stuff, thankfully. It's just, yeah. The suit of armor that I have on hand, on, on the screen here, is uh, the... Uh, costume pieces that are available for silver. I really want them. I really want that. T- like, I've started playing Titan, and this Gundam-looking one just looks so goddamn good. But uh, your hunter doesn't look half bad either. That's a sexy <clears throat> sexy beast there. Mm-hmm. Warlock looks a little... A little... Yeah, I, 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 it's okay. Not bad, just okay. But um, I just can't believe how great the Gundam one worked. Oh God, yes. Uh, of course, some new emotes. Uh, I showed Quincy yesterday the Ghostbusters one, the um, Scooby Doo one, and uh, did I show you the Tiptoe one? I, I showed you the Bobbin for apples, but I don't yeah, know if I showed you the, the, the Tiptoe one. There's the the um, old Looney Tunes style tiptoeing one. Gotcha. Um, I they they seem to be doing good with the cosmetics, but it's the same as last year. It is one thousand percent the same. Kind of a bummer that we're not getting anything new aside from cosmetics and one new lost sector, haunted sector. But the haunted sectors are even the same. Uh, all but uh, we get one new one. Yeah, bit of a lameo, but it's a it's a fun time for everybody. Collect your candy, get free stuff. Uh, I, I don't quote me on this, but I think they boosted the rates on um, getting exotic turnarounds through uh, the Eva uh, Epic bags because I got I paid for three, got 
two exotics. So, not exotics I want, but it's good, it's good that I'm getting exotic uh, rolls. Uh, ba doop. Okay, uh, so when Quincy showed me this, I already see, oh, I already saw these before, and the best way I can tell you this without telling you what this is is that it's an Xbox Series X controller with thigh highs on. Go ahead and hit that play button so it cycles through the beautiful colors. Let me mute the audio. Yeah, it comes in. I love that pastel. That pastel pink looked actually really nice. That's a good color right there. Um, and, of course, you can choose your own color. You can choose every single color layout on uh, the Xbox's website. I believe it's... Is it straight through Microsoft? Or is it through Xbox's website? Um, well, so, actually, anything you do on Microsoft's website, like if you go to Microsoft's website, you can get to the Xbox stuff. Okay. So... Um, and then you can do it through the Xbox. So, like, if it's not through the Xbox website, you can still get... Uh, if it's not through the Microsoft website, you can still get to it from there. Okay. Uh, and the Elite Two is actually really interesting. Um, this the 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 D pad uh, can actually come off and be replaced with this one. Uh, the thumbsticks can come off and change for these extendable ones. Uh, the uh, extra triggers underneath. Yeah, these ones are the the extra triggers for the the backpacks, so that way you get yeah. that extra quick. Uh, things so you don't have to let go of the thumbstick. I like the Elite controller. Do you know how much these are worth? One eighty. They are one hundred and forty nine dollars for the base. That's just for the base. No, no, no color. No color attachments. The color attachments cost a little bit extra. Getting uh, pieces of metal or engraving, of course, costs extra. <sighs> I want one. <laughs> And these things are not light. They are actually extremely hefty. They are very dense. I have held one you in my life. At the burglar level dense. Oh, you throw it at the burglar. That burglar. You, you, you were trying to injure him. He's dead. Burglar segment on the page now. No, no. Too too, soon. Too, too soon. Way too soon. <laughs> um, it's okay, so I can make the jokes. If he wasn't okay, I wouldn't make the jokes. <laughs> yeah. Um, but these controllers, you can make them look any which way. I believe um, on the top is metal, so you can have like iridescence or um, what do they call it? Oil stained. But I don't, I'm not 100% on that. I believe I just saw that when someone was doing a, a concept now thinking, but that would be kind of cool. I would love to have oil dipped on the on the LR buttons. Uh, but, doop. Okay. So... I'm okay with Fortnite. Fortnite and I have a have an okay relationship. Ever since they did the no build mode, and then you know every now and again, Sox is like, "Hey, you wanna you wanna play with a fam?" And I'm like, "Yeah, let's let's play a little bit of this." Also, hello, babe. Um, Ash Williams. I gotta, get, I gotta open up the the Twitch. Okay. So I can be you know, in there. Okay. But Ash Williams from Evil Dead is now in Fortnite, and the the flipping shotgun, it it suits him. And then he gets his chainsaw, and uh, there seems to be a um, what looks okay, to be on. a infected style game mode, which I don't. That was problematic. Oh, I uh, pulled up Twitch.com just now, and the instant I did, it started playing something on the main page and I'm like would, would you shut up <laughs> I've got a stream going I don't need you making noise there we go yeah, it's okay I, good news the board didn't pick it up <laughs> mm. did you not mute a tab on oh there you go mm. that's no berry that is, a, that is a delicious piece tea did you already fill socks into my uh Current condition. Um, it's the name of the top, uh, the the name of the uh, stream. Is it really? Uh, Q's got the ick, but we're chugging along. Oh come on, the chugging! Uh, I tried. It's great. Okay. <laughs> uh, um. I don't remember what you're chugging. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Word saver. Um. 
But yeah, we we've had for an entire season we had um, Darth Vader just chilling out at random locations on in on the Fortnite map. Now we have Ash Williams joining up. The, the, Epic Games knows how to appease to an audience, and they they are holding on tight. And I'm not I'm not against that. They know what's up. Uh, um. This is one of the ones that I when I saw it, I was like, I don't want to start playing Fortnite. Yeah. Don't make me start playing Fortnite. I'm sure you'll like it. The no build mode really, it's an unwinder. It's not one that would cause uh, heavy shoulders with like, oh, everyone's playing Fortnite right now. All right, fine, I guess, you know, whatever. No, this one, the, the, with Fortnite, I, I feel like it, it's a pretty good unwinding game. Uh, but oop. Calypso Protocol. Uh, one of the games I'm actually really excited for. Um, they say, yeah, we're shipping December 2nd, and yes, we'll have 60 frames per second performance mode. This is something that, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 had as a quality and a performance mode. Putting it into quality, holy crap, that is crispy, but damn, the frame rate drops. Holy shit! Does the frame rate drop? Like it drops to twenty, maybe twenty-five. And I'm like, I'm on a series. What the fuck's going on? Turn back on the the uh, uh, performance mode. Oh, hey, forty-five, sixty frames. I'm good. It's just putting on that high resolution textures really hits really hard. So I'm happy to see that. It'll it'll be good for um, even PC players. So, while we're talking about this, hmm. how do you feel about um, the uh, announcement of the lower frames for Gotham Knights? Everyone has basically said that they killed the game by announcing that, and that it's done, the game's going to be shit, what and it, people don't want to buy it now. Well, what was it, 30 frames? Yeah. Okay. So 30, it's locked that way on console. That's fine. So 30 frames locked on console, I think it'll be fine. It may stutter from time to time just because it, the way it works is any high particles have a chance to drop frames. That's always how it's been. But at a locked 30 frames, you can't go below that. I think it'll be fine. It may it may have a little bit of a, a, a hindrance here and there, but it'll be day one jitters, I think. And they've worked on it for the last what three years? Like yeah, I, I think it'll I think it'll be fine. Plus, they've been showing a lot of gameplay. They uh, they just released another trailer today. So yeah, my only issue I've seen with the gameplay is it's just it's still not enough people. Yeah, I I'm thinking that they are only showing early areas. So I think I think we're gonna be fine. Um. Uh, but they did announce that four player co op is coming. Oh, good. Because yeah. what was it, just two at the start? It was two before. I mean, it's just going to be you and I for a little bit, yeah? Uh, it depends on if anyone else buys it, and it depends on how much they fall into the... This game is terrible uh, drama that's going to go around. Because you know, what's going to happen is everyone's going to be like, oh, it's getting terrible reviews. But it's it's not that it's getting terrible reviews. I mean, it's that people are throwing fits over the 30 frames. We are not showing up with there we are. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's the No Man's Sky story. Starts off yeah. really rough, but gets a bloom. Uh, yeah. Cyberpunk 2077 started off rough. I'm loving it. It is one of my favorite games. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, about the Spy X Family thing. Um, last week, I had made a declaration as well with that anime. There is a face that Anya makes uh, that I'm going to get tattooed on my body somewhere. Probably arm. Just... So I just thought I'd let you in on that one because you haven't heard the the episode of last week yet. <laughs> Moving on, uh, but dude, so I saw a little bit of this, but I didn't. I I I, I thought they were building something else because they were putting together like a room, and I was like, I don't. Mm. So yeah, so this is. Uh, go ahead. So they're they're making the next sim game, but it's going to be big. It's going to be like massive to the point where you can put pillows in weird spots. 
Yeah, it seems like you're going to finally be able to... They, they're, they're really upping your ability to customize things. And also, if you just look at the, the artwork of... If you keep scrolling down, there should be images for the... Uh, that's you. Yeah, that's the uh, tracks. Uh, they should have the images somewhere on here, I do believe. Oh. I guess not. There were images that they dropped. They dropped a couple images of a room. Um, the the furniture and stuff is vastly more detailed than it's ever been. No, it's not those. those no. Those are the Sims Mobile. Yeah, this is the stream, the whole stream. Yeah, um, so it, it's the section that's, yeah, Project Renee. Yeah, but it stops that's it and then goes into the mobile. But I, I do remember seeing this as well. Um, like, it, it looked crispy clear, like a, an average apartment, maybe a studio. And you were able to finely tune everything. And it had... It's taken it to the next level. It, it's honestly, it's where it has to go. Yes. And what it is, is if you create something like a couch that's blurple and has interesting pillows and other things and you can then take the a chat. Uh, uh, oh yeah um, you can create that and distribute it to other individuals the cost of that will be of course the cost of it to another person because they're paying for the material and I'm like one more. that's interesting one more what Images in the chat. Oh, you're you're giving me. Oh. Oh. Wow. Actually, one more, one more. Oh, god dang it. Well, okay. this will be the last one. Okay. Uh... So this gives you an idea of first of all just how vastly different the stuff looks, but also how you can catty corner things and whatnot, and how much more detailed things are. This one's smaller, so the biggest I could get this one. That's but fine. this one even shows like you can tilt the freaking pillows you could tilt the pillows and uh it has like a set item limit so you can't just make a big old pile of pillows you can make a 20 pill 20 pillow pile up but you can't go any bigger i'm hoping that they've increased the amount of stuff that you can put in a room because there's always been what they call the fire hazard thing and it's them limiting how much stuff you can put in a house and it's because the game can only handle so much shit is the real reason. Yeah. And I'm hoping they've been able to increase that because with this much detail being able to go in, well, you're going to have to be able to fit a lot more stuff into the homes. But this is definitely the correct direction. This is a, this is where Sims need to go next. Um, so this is for Sims 5. Project uh, Renee is what they're calling it. And it looks really um, good. And it seems like this little thing up here seems to have a lot of people able to edit on the fly if you're on, like, a free play mode, maybe? Cause, yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see where Sims is going. I've always been a fan of The Sims. I just never played a lot of The Sims. So I played the hell out of The Sims. Um, so I still have the original Sims for PC. I still have... Frickin', I have two copies oh. of that for some reason. Um, I have all the versions that came out for the PlayStation 2. I have um, four on my Xbox. Well, now and then four is I all also the own it. Well, now it's free, so yeah. it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I also had gotten it for on my Origin account so that Lauren can play it on her Mac. Oh, it's like one of the few games. Shut up, Peter. It's one of the few games that uh, she has actually like played. Um, on her computer. Um, now I don't think her computer could handle it. And, and so the fact that there's finally a five is a big thing because it's like I was wondering are we ever going to get a five? Are we just at four because they keep doing expansions for four and whatnot? So we're getting the five, which is great. But I've also been a huge Sim City fan, and I'm still waiting for a new Sim City. And I've always thought what we need is to combine the two, let you build Sim City and, and run the whole city and whatnot, and then let you zoom in down to the person level and play a game of the Sims in the city you built. I would like that. But that feels, as of right now, a little, too, not too ambitious, but farther down the line. Like, it is it is a great idea. It's just, that's a, that sounds like a big project. Because if you're putting yourself in a fully lived-in city and trying I mean you can't like not you won't be able to do it for every single person if you have a population of 1000 they can't 
generate 1,000 of these. Oh, no. No, of course not. But there should be, like, a couple neighborhoods. A minimalist style type of, like, yeah. break them down into the small ends of it. Yeah, that would be an idea. I'd like that. Uh, but, do. Uh, oh, right. Everything broke. Um, Project Relic. Uh, this... Uh, did I show you this trailer? I don't think I did. You started it, yeah. Um, this one here has a Dark Souls-like individualist. Uh, it's... You could tell straight off the bat it's Korean. Um, I am kind of here for its style. It is very Dark Souls. It is very Bloodborne, but with a Korean flair. Um... I, I don't know much about it. It's just called Project Relic. Uh, it actually has gameplay. Uh, it looks like a... It looks a little Unreal-ish, but it it doesn't seem to have the Unreal texture problem I've been noticing. So I don't know what engine this is. Uh, does it showcase? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, it's said that it's going to have multiplayer and good sound, good audio, good tech. Here for it. Uh, but dupe. So this trailer kind of, kind of baffled me a little bit. Minecraft and Batman. I like it. It's it's. Mm. I was surprised by it. I I was also surprised by it. It looked like a very full game. Like it looked like a, an actual full rendered game. Just of course with Minecraft as the textures. You got Mothman, Penguin, Freeze, Babs. Killer Moth. Killer, uh, that's Killer Moth? Not Mothman, Killer Moth. Did I say Mothman? Yeah, shit, my yeah. bad. And if it's not him, then it's Firefly. I can't tell which. And Babs. There's Babs. So wait, 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 wait. Nightwing, Babs, Bruce, Jason? I can't tell. There's a big W in his there, face, but it's one of the Robins. Yeah, it's one of the Robins, and then you got the other two. Eh, whatever. They're all there. Clayface so, and Clayface. it could be Jason. It could be Damien. It could be... Uh, fuck, it's right off the tip of my tongue. Red Robin. What the fuck is his name? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's right there. He's the one that takes place after Jason bug me I'll look it up okay go look it up but uh if you're a fan of minecraft and a fan of batman go check this out it, it's drake. actually it looked huh tim drake tim drake yes uh this actually looks really fun and the creators of the, the map itself look like they had fun doing it uh but dupe eh, eh. i like when my uh my browser crashes and i have to reload everything um, so, I'm a fan of Need for Speed, but lately they've been getting disappointing. Uh, Rivals disappointed me. He kind of disappointed me. Um, Payback, eh, it was alright. The latest of the Hot Pursuit is alright. This looks odd. Need for Speed Unbound. And you're positive this isn't the mobile game? I'm positive. Coming Weird. to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series S and X, and PC on December 2nd. That's, which, that's weird. Which, it comes out on the same day that Callisto, Calypso Protocol is coming out. So, can you take a guess at which game I'm going to be playing if I decide to get one of them? Monkey Island. Hmm? What was that? I said Monkey Island. Oh. Uh, is it... Wait, is it December 2nd? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. I thought it was November or something, but it could have pushed it back. I wouldn't be mad. Um, I have nothing to say about it. You got anything to say about it? <laughs> Not really. Like, it felt mobile to me. It does. It looks so cheddar cheesy. Like, the cell shading is fine, but not for a Need for Speed game. Like, if you go from Need for Speed Underground 2, go into the first Hot Pursuit game, and then you go into this, you'll be like, this is not the same game. And sucks. Did a stretch, so I'm gonna re redeem that stretch right now. Uh, I just drank. And posture check. And uh, my posture's 
pretty good in my chair, even though I'm bundled yeah, my up. My posture's all right. Um, I don't have water up here right now. Um, so I just... don't feel like having the second soda now. I thought I would, and I don't. So I have to take a rain track on the drink. Mm -hmm. You are ill. It is fine. I'll take the drink for you. That's one of the. That's been one of the crazy things. I have been insanely thirsty during this. Oh. I have been drinking water, orange juice, like crazy. Well, that's good. Good to keep your hydration up. It fights off everything that's negative in your body. Uh, but do I am mad, Quincy. Yeah. I am very, 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 very mad. Do you know why I'm mad? Um. Would it have anything to do with a company screwing over creative people? Kind of, because it it also it, it I will it, I will side with Hideo Kojima. Yes, that was fucked. But Hideo kind of squandered a little bit before all the major drama that we got in the middle of. Doesn't matter about that. But I am still mad at Konami. I am still very mad at Konami. Yeah. They are going to be releasing. Silent Hill 2 Redux and four other projects. I, for those who don't know, I fucking love Silent Hill. Even the shitty ones. Even Downpour, even um, uh, Shattered Memories. All the, all the shitty ones. I was a fan of Silent Hill. And they decide, Konami decides to just slide over a huge envelope, a thick stack, and said, take a card. You deserve it, kid. And gave me five fucking projects. Most of them are going to be PS5 Steam locked, because that's the Konami deal. So Silent Hill... Steam works for you. You can still I know. play your game. I know. It, but it's just... Why shove Microsoft out of the way when it's still going to be on their PC? It, eh. It's just it's me Whole being. Thing is PlayStation flashed money to keep it and uh, keep it console locked, but they weren't able to flash enough money to keep it from going PC. Yes, and so that's that's fine. Um, I'll probably get it on PC. Uh, Silent Hill Two is going to be there. All the other ones don't have places that they're going, which. I'll assume one of them is going to be PC just because it, it, the creators do really well on PC. Um, Silent Hill 2 is going to be that. Uh, Silent Hill F. It looks good. Uh, have you seen the trailer for this one? I forget if I showed you this one. This one is the... Um, the feudal Japan one? It's more rural Japan. Okay, rural Japan. Yeah. Um, it's really... I don't know what fucking engine this is. This is not Unreal. This is not Crytek. This is not... Uh, I mean, hell, it, it could be Capcom's engine. Um, the RE engine. All I know is, at, for, a, for a cinematic display, this looks good. And I said that to myself. And do you know what the next thing I said was? God damn it, I have to give them money. Because I I love Silent Hill that much, uh, it it is definitely not going to be the same. I'm going to pause it right there because the tryptonophobia at Tryptino, the thing of which has the holes in the body that things can come out of, that phobia, yeah, uh, that 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 one really sparks in this. But uh, this is called Silent Hill F, and I am very excited for it. It started playing a. Um, what is that Japanese instrument? Mandolin? Well, it started playing the, the Silent Hill 2 riff in the mandolin, and I was just... Oh my god, it was such a good feeling. And then the next trailer. Uh, Badu. Oh, god damn it. Um, th this one feels like it's going to be a mobile game, maybe? I think don't know. It gave us nothing except for live 2023. I don't know what it is. It says uh, panic with your friends or something. 
Uh, face your trauma together. So, I, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know... Is this going to be another Pokemon Go type of thing where you have to, like, walk around? Uh, I sincerely hope not, considering those are on the way down. They're on the decline right now. I don't know why... I mean, it's then again, this... Because it's a repeat of the same thing every fucking time. The same company keeps releasing the same game. Ni- Niantic has re- literally released it using the same stops and everything, just with a new skin, and they go, don't know why it's not working. Yeah... I, I I don't know, but it has bad robot games, which is a, a company I've heard of. I don't recall what they've made off the top of my head, but I have heard of them. Um, we'll we'll have to we'll have to take a seat, uh, take a back seat for that one for right now because it said live twenty twenty three. Socks in the chat says uh, the Shimasen or the Kodo. I don't know. I'm unsure, but they played it so well that it caused chills. Um, the return to Silent Hill. <laughs> it's what looks to be a film project that wants to go above and beyond and we know how the first Silent Hill movies, first two Silent Hill movies went um eh I'm you're just mad because for once Sean Bean didn't die in something he did though no he didn't he died in the second one he's not even really in the second one he 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 was there in a moment, and he died in it. The end. <laughs> um, but even still, another Silent Hill movie. I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll wait to hear. Lately, all the remakes have been doing good, so I will hold a little bit of hope. And then the last one that actually got me super good... Uh, Silent Hill Townfall, the... Literally on the list of seven movies he doesn't die in. Really? Yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, he survives it. Okay. Um, but this game is done by... I'm going to grab the name of it. Uh, no Code Games, and where's the A? If I find the A, that's all I want. There it is. Uh, Anna, Anna Perna that did uh, Stories Untold, and... I think it even says that here, too. Uh, observation. They do amazing work with the environment. Because in Stories Untold, you are literally playing a text-based game that you are living in. And you don't find that out until the very end of that chapter. By saying, open the door, and you hear the door opening behind you. They do so amazing with the atmosphere. So I have the utmost faith that Silent Hill Townfall will be amazing. Now, will it be my cup of tea? I don't know. Because, I, have to, I mean, no gameplay. I want to see some gameplay. There was nothing. Nothing. Just announcements for announcements. Uh, but I do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, come on, load. There we go. Uh, I haven't played Rocket League in a minute. I don't know if this would get me back into it, but if I were to go back into it, this would excite the shit out of me. Uh, Rocket League Haunted Hollows has four new vehicles that are very horror movie-esque. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Trick or Treat, um, Jigsaw slash Saw, and... Uh, what is uh, Child's Play. I remembered him. You got there. I got there. He a little confused, but he got spirit. Um, good cosmetics. Good, uh, what's it called? Explosions. Uh, goal explosions. Yeah. Trails. Chainsaw sounds for the engine. I can respect it. Anything to add? Um, no, I, I love when they do events like this. Um, I liked that the ball was a, a jack lantern at one point. Um, Hmm. We've talked about before. I, I love events and things. Yes. Um, you know the freaking event in uh, Deadity. What's it called? Yeah, is getting me interested in, in popping on to at least run some dark sectors, and I, you know, just for the event stuff. Yeah. Although I'm going to be starting a new game in a couple of hours, so I probably won't. New game. Uh, yeah, Gotham Knights. Oh, shit. Oh, no, not 
hours. It's an hour. It's a day and a few hours. Okay. It's twenty first. I gotta send you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, but I mean that's gonna end up eating up a bunch of my time. Yeah. So I don't know that I'll get it back on Destiny. I might. I but mean, it's one of those things like events start to sit, sit there and get me going. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Yeah. I mean, if you do two sectors a day, that'll clear up the entire thing. So I mean, just as long as you do two a minimum. Yeah. Just gotta feel it. Uh, but up up shoe news. Gonna start off with the fried chicken. <laughs> yes, you heard me right. Fried chicken. Um, these very interesting. End, E N D. They're a clothing line that does pretty interesting things. I believe I pulled them up. We pulled them up once. Uh, oh god, dang it. Um, nope, not gonna go searching. But even still, uh, they have literally the fried chicken. I, I wish I could paint more than that. It's got what looks to be a crispy skin along the outside, which is like a, uh, a ruffled style canvas outer. The frayed laces kind of have that crackly chicken skin to it. Um, Sock says she, uh, she likes the design, but why fuzzy? It's kind of fuzzy. It's like canvas. It's, it's rough. It's not really fuzzy. Uh, fuzzy, shoot, uh, fuzzy chicken out there? They actually have good chicken out there. We got, we got the fake shit. Um, but yeah, these these shoes look okay. They don't look bad. Do I would I wear them? Probably not. But then again, this is a contest. Uh, they are one hundred sixty five dollars naturally, but they have a raffle over in Europe. Not not set for the not set for the Americas, but uh. For the next one day, and about right from right this moment, 16 hours, uh, this raffle is going to be going on for those who are in the uh, Europe lands. So, sadly, nothing for the Americas as of yet. Hopefully that will be soon. Uh, go to at KixFinder to see if there's going to be another giveaway. Uh, but slightly hilarious that it's not in the place that's obsessed with fried chicken. I mean, everywhere's obsessed with fried. You go to the Philippines; it's on every street corner. So I mean, it just depends on where you're at. I mean, we we let a, a Civil War colonel, you know, sell us chicken. So. And, and he's got places. Um, he's got places overseas. Then again, they have over overseas. They have a giant bee mascot. So I, I got no place to talk mascots out here now so i still from what you've told me you, you told me a horror story about them so that's why we're not really one that, that had some problems going on that location is now gone oh okay because of it they have another location well is it good i don't know i've never been oh uh but one of my favorite movies growing up was the mighty ducks and seeing these kind of kind of hit that nostalgia burst because these Adidas Ultra Boost shoes are the Mighty Ducks versus the don't tell me the something Clarkson Ravens Houston Ravens no the Hawks Houston Hawks yeah I wasn't gonna remember that um, but they are the team's colors down the line um, there's not much to really say if you've seen the movie they are. They are bright, bright lime green with some purple have you flecks. The new show? Huh? Have you watched the new show? No, I have not. The first season had uh, Emilio Estevez back in it. Oh. Um, and then him and Disney couldn't come to terms over the fact that they wanted a the COVID-free set, and he didn't. And um, They let him go. So he's not in season two. Yeah. Well, shit. Uh, the green one reminds me of '90s McDonald's toy colors, a little bit, a little, a little outrageous, but in a in a kind of calm, good way. In a, I'm going to Taco Bell kind of way. <laughs> As for the black and white ones, uh, with like little bits of uh, light blue, it's they're fine. They they don't really stagger. Oh. That's actually kind of cool. They they have like the Disney on the inside on the soles and all that. Ooh, and an interesting pattern on the uh, very bottom. 
looking at this from both the Twitch stream and looking at it on our um, chat, having the two things on the two different screens, makes me realize how different the colors on the screens are. The, the um, screen on the right is much darker. Screen on Our the... setup here back at my place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I made mention of that. But, you gotta remember, I, I can't see color. I know, I know, but I I, <laughs> I I was like, can we bring up the color? I said, ah, it doesn't even matter. We're just gonna talk about the shit on the screen. We're not gonna actually do anything about it. Uh, green and yellow gold are Australian colors, though, so that could be why it's so comforting, says Socks. And, yeah, maybe. Uh, Badoop, last but not least, homie! <laughs> the Simpsons and Adidas do one more shoe, and this time, it's fuzzy. Uh, Marge lets her hair down for Simpsons and Adidas superstars. These it ones, so well. they do, and Marge, your hair's a shoe, or, um, let's go over to Family Guy for a second. PETA, the horse is here. <laughs> um, but the, the, there is not much detail aside from the marvelous Marge and the fuzz of blue all around, um... This is a pretty nice looking shoe. I got. I honestly have no qualms about the shoe. It's fuzzy, yes, but it it actually suits the the theme. I love Marge, so you know I have mass respect for these shoes. Yeah, I wouldn't buy them. I wouldn't wear them, but you know. Yeah, and I believe they're one sixty. Oh no, no, it like no something price. you use to clean another shoe with. Oh jeez, yeah, a little a little bit of that rough texture. Yeah. Um. This story here, when uh, when I heard about it on TikTok, I thought it was a gag. I thought it was a joke until I saw those screaming blue eyes. A Christmas. Yeah, this isn't even the first sequel. Yeah, but the, this one. Well, wait. Is this the one where everyone comes back, or was the first sequel everyone came back? Because I don't know about the sequel. Uh, the other sequel, I, I think, had, like, they recast it and stuff, but I could yeah. be wrong. Well, this one got uh, um, Ralphie coming back. So coming to HBO Max, A Christmas Story Christmas. Yeah! I, the title I, sucks. <laughs> the title sucks, but I'm 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 not mad. I, I'm actually kind of excited. Um, I, I, I loved A Christmas Story. Now, watching it for every every year on Christmas for 24 hours is would, would have been a suicide move for a television company to do that. To run something for 24 hours straight. But TBS but TBS makes it work. I, I always watch it. I don't know if you saw it in the trailer. Uh, you can see the um, the uh, lamp. Oh yeah, the, the lampshade. Uh, right there. Yeah, the lampshade. So, uh, Socks asks in the chat, what's Christmas Story? So, every year for the last, God, 20 years, would you say? Maybe a little less than that. Maybe a little less than that? Okay, we'll say 15. For the last sure, fif- that sounds better. Yeah, for the last 15 years, we have had TBS, a, a TV station, run the same movie for 24 hours on Christmas. Christmas yes. And it's the that Christmas. movie is a Christmas story. It is a Christmas story. And it's just a movie about a boy who wants a BB gun for Christmas and the, like the stuff he deals with with like for bullies and the other neighborhood kids and whatnot. It's just kind of just a story about a kid around Christmas time. Uh, the the week up leading up until Christmas. Yeah. And then him shooting himself in the eye. Yeah. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. And everyone's always, you know, given the warning about BB guns and how dangerous they are and then when he goes, oh no, I actually did it. And then the, the dynamic shifts of a boy no longer realizing that these dangerous things are something he doesn't want anymore. He begins to, he grows up very quickly in a span of a week. I can't put my arms down. <laughs> I'm stuck. 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 So we watched this in high school one time for like Christmas break. Yeah. Like right before we went to Christmas break. Mm-hmm. And we were watching it. The teacher had gotten Netflix to somehow work on the school's internet. Oh my god. So we're watching it. And it literally gets to the point where the kid's tongue is about to touch the pole. Mm-hmm. And right when it's about to touch the pole, 
it fucking starts buffering oh. and doesn't fix itself in class ends. Uh, damn. Um, it, it's an okay movie. I will never understand the obsession of watching it on that 24 hour run. It doesn't actually get oh. watched on my holiday watch list. I will, I will watch it once out of the out of the whole thing but i i my mom has the dvd so i can start it from the beginning i can pause it go use the restroom cook up some food you know if i need yeah. to so i mean you know it's, it's whatever it's not on my my must watch list there's other movies on that list and this one just doesn't make it on there but i'm happy that they're doing this i'm happy they got the original actor back it's coming to hbo max um do we have a date uh yes november 17th november 17th we triple dog oh and i I love that join the fun we triple dog dairy yeah that's another little meme from the from the uh first movie uh legendary's backing this interesting also language and some rude material slash behavior mostly from santa claus yeah yeah come on get up on it all right bye bye now (laughs) And just uh, the kid goes sliding down. But do dry out, kid, and kicks him. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. Did you know Post Malone likes Magic the Gathering? Yes, I've actually watched interviews with him. Uh, he did an interview a while back where someone asked him how much he's, but uh, what the most he has spent on a single card was, and he looked like kind of ashamed, like he didn't want to say it, and then he said it, and it was an insane amount. Yeah, and he got um. Four different uh, major packs. The Lands, Lands Foil, Backstage Pass, and Backstage Pass Foil. Uh, the Lands, um, a lot of individuals have signed. I believe it's his group. Uh, most yeah, of them he, are... he spent $800,000 on the uh, signed Black Lotus. Oh! Oh, boy. Yeah, he has a Chris Rush signed uh, Black Lotus that he says he spent 800000 on. Worth yeah, it. It's an artist print. That is worth it. And I'm... Oof. He he probably has a proxy, and he's probably cheesing a lot of shit with that. But um, uh, Backstage Pass, uh, there are some reprints in here. There's one unique card, I believe, which I believe is this one here, uh, Jet Medallion. So what are these exactly? Like They're mentioning Post Malone, but like what's... The, uh, so what they are is they are... Post Malone style stylized arts. He had probably a hand in them, and he made a new card for his set. So they are just basically these are cards that already exist, but they are printed with Post Malone's art. They have the same exact thing, but this is a new one, uh, Jet Medallion, which uh, has you can you can see Post's neck in it. So he's a fucking nerd. Um, yeah, here we go. Uh, one Crix, son of Yog- Yogmoth as Post, son of Rich. Uh, one Ballista Citadel as Post Citadel. Uh, one Leshrac Sigil as Post Sigil. And one Jet Medallion. And this is a $30 secret layer. Uh, for foil, it's 10 bucks more. Uh, if you get the whole entire thing, um, it, it drops down the price a little bit. Uh, and then the other one, Secret Layer and Warhammer 40k. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I don't like 40k, but the card arts, they're fine. Some of them are reprints of other cards, which kind of bums me out. You guys could really do a lot of stuff with Warhammer. Uh, the Blood Bowl ones are good fun, but nothing I would lean out of the way for, the, unless you're a huge Blood Bowl fan. Um, the if looks could kill. Uh, <laughs> they, I love the art of them. They're all full arts. They all look great. Uh, and we just miss the the full Japanese set. Um, uh, as far as like introductory, they they are already almost done with their pre order stuff, but they are etched. They are beautifully carved. I wish I could blow, blow these up because I would love to just look at them. Um, I don't know what they're reprints of. Uh, Borderless, Carrion Feeder, A Doomsday, A Plague Crafter, and A Thoughtseize. Ooh, Thoughtseize. Uh, I can't tell which one Thoughtseize is. Uh, but I do. You need to check the chat more. 
I do. Oh, okay. You motherfucker. I redeemed a stretch. Uh, I already did mine. <laughs> Alright. Um, October 27th. Uh, be the first to enter a whole new world of collecting. This kind of has me wondering, but also kind of scared. So, this came from McFarland Toys. They also um, added Polygon Studios, OX Polygon, and uh, Rarible. And they dropped this video of you, like, seeing through the eyes of almost like a dirty camera, walking down a hallway, opening up a vault, which got the McFarland uh, spawn symbol on it, um, and going in to see a crate and getting ready to open the crate. Do you want to know, do you want to know my opinion on it? Uh, sure. NFTs. That's the, the, that's what I'm thinking right now, just because Rarible. Oh, is that what Rarible is? Yeah. Oh, this is fucking NFTs. Yeah. That's why I have like I, I like what they're doing, but then when I when I saw Rarible and then I saw the OX and I began oh, to was. think about it. Yeah, you follow them. I follow them. Mm-hmm, yeah. I you know what I probably did is I did I probably did a blanket follow when I followed McFarland Toys. Yeah. Because it'll be like do the uh, do you want to follow these as well thing. Yeah. So, um. I will say they're going with Polygon, which I'm not. We're not going to get into whether or not we're standing up for uh, NFTs, but I will say that Polygon doesn't use the energy that uh, other cryptos do. Yeah. So. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Come, well, come. I'm no longer excited about this. I thought this was going to be something cool. If it's NFTs, I just don't care. I don't know. Neutral. But oop. So tell me about this. Uh, so um, NECA is doing their 31 Nights of Fright reveals, where each night all the way up to Halloween, they reveal a little something, something. Uh, so this is uh, just a clue at something else they're going to be revealing, which is they're going to be doing another Misfits run um, based off the Misfits van. Um, so this one's just showing a tombstone. This is Misfits 1977. Um, I can't read it. New Jersey. Uh, Lodi, New Jersey. Um, it, it's probably going to be maybe another... Um, there you go. Probably going to be the um, another one of the singer or something like that. You know, or may, It might be some stuff with the... Um, with the... Uh... Oh, you can't think of his name. What is their character called? The, the ghoul. The mascot? I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I'm not a fan of Misfits. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I got nothing against Misfits. Yeah, so, you know, oh. they, they're doing these reviews, reveals. Um, yeah, you found the, the Predator from uh, Prey with oh, the bone helmet. Oh, that looks so good. Um, Sven Gulli is getting one. You're getting uh, the monsters from the new uh, movie. Um, one of the ones that they tease, the next one you're about to look at right there. This one we've known about, but um, it's... the you know, them doing the TMNT characters is different things. This one's oh, I love man. the I love the see through shell. Yeah, that's actually really fucking cute. Oh. Neca knows how to take care of their figures, man. Yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff. Like the the freaking uh Family Family the opera, opera Casey Jones. Yeah, I fucking yeah. love this. This is great. And then Gub Gub. With but my only issue with is you, you can't like going through NECA's website, you just get to look at the stuff like you can't buy the stuff directly from NECA from what I've been able to see. So it's always a pain in the ass to figure out where I'm gonna buy the figures if I'm gonna buy a NECA figure. I mean they sell them at Target and stuff like that, but Target doesn't carry all the figures they release because that's a crap ton of figures. So, I don't know. It's always been kind of a difficult one for me. Like I love NECA, but I just feel like there's there I haven't at least found a good way to purchase them. Yeah, but uh, how do you how do you like this uh, Christopher Lloyd and uh, DeLorean action? Uh, I love it. It's got one of my favorite moments. Um. And, and the figures look good. I've seen these figures in person. They, they've got the different faces and whatnot. Um, they're, 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 it's a good set. Oh, I could just scroll down this for aeons. This is super awesome. You're back in September already. 
Yeah, and I, I, I have never... Oh. Okay. <laughs> Fun, huh? Oh my god. That's... Okay, okay. The uh, yeah. female... Uh... Gremlin. Gremlin. Yeah. It's, just, it's funny as shit. <gasps> oh my god! I love how plain Jane that is, but I would fucking buy the shit out of that. I love that it actually lights up. It's the uh, poster of the thing as a figure. So it's the snowsuit with light coming out of it with the hands out Oh, that is fucking awesome. 10 on 10. 10 out of fucking 10. All right, but yeah, I could I could be spending all day doing this. Uh, but I am going to follow NECA. Boop. Because this is my personal Twitter. Uh, but doop. Uh, I'm not too... I haven't really seen too much of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians things. So, so what's interesting is the last book, from what I understand, wrapped things up pretty well. And we didn't think we were getting another one. And I guess Rick Riordan decided, fuck it, I want to write another one. So uh, on the uh, 26th of November, uh, not November, September of next year, we were getting Percy Jackson and the Lippians, the Chalice of the Gods. September 26th, 2023. Um, yeah, and he goes into great detail about some of the questions uh, why you write those two yeah it's editing and just kind of the faq of of this um go check out his website if you want to learn about what ideas go on in his little noggin as he yes but it december in big bold letters spawn and batman no, this isn't the first time this has happened, but no. still, it's a big deal. Is it? What? Is it a big deal that they run into one another? I think so. I mean, you're talking crossovers from different comic companies. That's always kind of something big. I mean, I, I own the, the Batman Punisher, and I mean, eh, it's okay. You know, the great thing here is uh, it's uh, Capullo. Um, and McFarlane doing it, and Capullo actually oh. used to draw Batman. Yeah, uh, wasn't he the guy who also helped out with the Court of Owls? Oh, wait. So no, he worked with the guy that created the Court of Owls. Oh, okay. So he, uh, he... he was the artist for the guy that wrote the, that came up with the concept of the Court of Owls. Okay. Uh, he drew Batman with that with the guy that was doing the writing, which is uh, Snyder, uh, Scott Snyder. So December we're getting a. Blockbuster Prestige Format One Shot, so it's just going to be one, one issue, or is it going to be a trade? One shot, so it's going to be just one, but it'll probably be more than it'll probably be thicker than a regular comic. Oh, and it has um, alternative arts. I wouldn't say it'll be graphic novel size per se, but it'll it'll definitely because the way DC handles things, that DC is really good about page numbers. It'll mm-hmm. definitely be more pages than a normal two dollar comic book. All right, and last but not least. Looking at the trailers, the I'm not gonna lie, both the trailers seem kind of meh. Yeah, the tiny little teasers. So we're getting um, Battle of the it's Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, um, and it's looking like it's gonna be pitting Damien and whatever Clark's kid is. I don't know his name. Up against uh, one of the the, the star freaking villain. I can't think of his name. The big alien star. Um, it's going to be very space-based, I think. Um, it'll be interesting, but they're dropping these tiny, itty-bitty trailers, these little teaser things that just show us small scenes. This one was literally just Batman flying out to the watchtower out in space, and, landing, and then Superman hearing something and going, we need to get out of here now. And That uh, was more of a Batman voice, my bad. We need to get out of here now. It was Travis Willingham as the voice of uh, Superman, so it's it's more raspy. We need to get. No, I can't do. I can't do Travis. He's got that. He's got that southern drawl. Um, it's Troy Baker doing Batman, right? Yeah. So you got two heavy hitters. Uh, Jonathan Kent, by the way, is the Jonathan name. Jonathan Kent. Of, yeah. I gotta um, figure that out. Eh, I'm. I don't know. From the two teasers, I just they they didn't feel. He had Crypto chasing both of them, which seemed very yeah, odd. It was weird. 
If, it, if it hits HBO Max, I'll sit down and watch it. This one's not one of the ones that I'm dying to see. Like, I'm not going to go and see this one in theaters like I did Killing Joke and stuff like that, which I don't think this is getting a theatrical release anyways. But... Only on digital 4K and Blu-ray. It doesn't, no. Um, does it mention? So, technically came out yesterday. Yeah, but it doesn't say that it's going to be on... Digi- yeah, I think they're. I think they're trying to sell some digital and Blu-ray before they put it on a streaming service. Fair enough. Uh, still not gonna probably check it out. I don't. I don't know. Um, like I said, if it hits HBO Max, I'll, I'll sit down. And watch it. All right, hydrated for us both. All right, mm-hmm. I'll do our finale set here. Remember to tell a friend, tell an enemy, tell a friend of me. Remember to like and subscribe where you can. Check down our socials down in the uh, descriptions. Uh, give us something to talk about. Uh, we do enjoy talking, and uh, I, I've been kind of in a bad mood. So yeah, come 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 by and talk to me. Uh, Quincy's sick, so he'll he'll probably be more than inclined to chat. Just give him a minute to wake up. Um, and of course, as always, remember to love one another. It's free to do. Anything else? I think that's it. Um, remember people around you. Don't cough in your hand. Um, wash your hands. Wash your fucking that, hands, you filthy fucking animals. I'm pretty sure that's how I got sick while I was on my vacation. I watched so many people just coughing right into their hands. <sighs> Disgusting. Yeah. So just, just, just be clean. <laughs> yes, please. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.